Also in Washington, CBS News political director John Dickerson. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So how important is Bill Clinton to President Obama's reelection? He's about as important as a surrogate can be for a candidate. That you know, he can't sway the election, but he's obviously beloved within the Democratic Party. He can raise money, he can rally the troops, and he's got a natural political instinct, which means that he can coin a phrase or or lay out an attack line the president never could, and it's the kind of thing that can get passed along from voter to voter in conversation. Of course, as Bill mentioned, he's also sort of a big St. Bernard bounding around the political <laughs> landscape, yes. saying what he wants, and it's difficult for yeah. the Obama team to, uh, to quiet him down if he says something that might be slightly off message. The two things he seems to be saying, number one, and I'd like your reaction to this, is that they ought to stop focusing on the past and simply focus on the future and lay out how Obama in the next four years will be different from Romney if he's elected in his four years. That's right. In a recent interview, uh, the president sent that message. He's been sending it internally, but he basically said it out loud. Stop attacking uh, the, uh, Governor Romney's past record and start talking about how ideologically these two match up. And he said if you do that and tell people about what the future will look like, how a future under Mitt Romney would be calamitous, as Bill Clinton said, that's what you should do to make the pitch to voters. And when he said that out loud, it, it's about as strong a memo as you can yeah. put out there in public. Bill Clinton's political instincts are as good as anybody in the Democratic Party, aren't they? Well, that's right, and he thinks that's certainly the case, too. Now, there are uh, folks <laughs> yes. in, in Chicago who would say, hey, we've got a game plan here, and yeah. it operates at many different levels. So uh, you're, you're, you're causing a, a bit of a message problem by making the story, particularly when Bill Clinton said that Bain was you know, not a company. You shouldn't say whether a company, that it was a bad company. That was a problem because it just it was yet yet another right. Democrat saying that, and that just uh, kind of put the story on that as opposed to other things the uh, Obama campaign wanted to talk about. We'll take a look at Wisconsin for a moment, as Dean reported. Uh, some people may want to read too much into it. What will you read into it if the governor uh, is reelected, so to speak? Well, I want to see what Mitt Romney does. I was talking to Grover Norquist, the Republican anti-tax advocate, and he said that, that Governor Romney should just take those 20 campaign offices Scott Walker opened and then just make them Romney offices. Go to Wisconsin and run hard there. We'll see if he does that. It's a battleground state. Also, what's interesting to me is Wisconsin has kind of been a, a lab test for the last year for both parties. It's, and, and so they can test their, their turnout, the vote efforts, in a way that they really haven't been able to in, in, in any other state. And so what did they learn? Were they able to target voters? Were they able to use right. these new techniques that they fall in love with? Were they actually beneficial in this race? John Dickerson, thank you.